happy Mask Monday. As usual, I've got a really goopy mask. And I can never get them open. Today, we're going to do some crazy Texas laws. I'm sure your state has crazy laws still in the books, too. They just, nobody takes the time to get them off the books, even though they're Pretty crazy sometimes. <laughs> okay, almost there. I don't know why I don't put this on beforehand, but I don't. <laughs> I have a little roller now. It's a little one, but... Hopefully, it'll still do the job. I thought this was going to be bigger, but it's teeny. <laughs> All right, let me wipe my hands off and I'll show you what this mask is. I got it from... You got in a box of one of my lovely friends. I have a whole pile of them here, and I don't remember who I got what from. I think I got this in a box. Um, it is the cream shop, and it's got rose and gold in it. And then the benefits on, on the back about, you know, 24 karat gold stimulates skin, skin cells for improved circulation. This is roses, soothing and calming, etc., etc. Hopefully this, I'm allergic to flower scents. I don't smell a scent, but hopefully this doesn't make me sneeze and cough and stuff. <laughs> All right, I have 16 crazy Texas laws. This first one doesn't sound so crazy to me. I think it's pretty much a law everywhere is it's against the law to sell your organs. Well, yeah. You are free, however, to sell blood and hair. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so number two is barefoot in public. There are some cities in Texas where it's illegal to go barefoot without a permit. In order to comply with the city's laws of sanitation and appearance, citizens must buy a permit for $5, and they're free to go barefoot. <laughs> Sounds like just a way to make $5 to me. Um... Let's see, the next category is food and drink. Um, do you remember, I don't know if you were, you're old enough to remember, but they used to have people that would go door to door selling the Encyclopedia Britannica, which, you know, of course, nobody uses anymore because of the internet. But it's in, I don't know, let's see, let me see. Technically, it's, it's out, outlawed to own the Encyclopedia Botanica set because a volume contains a recipe for making beer. Since lawmakers don't want home brewers being caught owning the set, what can technically result in fines and or jail time. I didn't know you couldn't home brew in Texas. Evidently not. But when I moved here, Texas was what's called a blue state. And it's not that way anymore. But when I first moved here, most stores weren't open on Sundays. And like a um, like a car sales place, they had to pick a day, Saturday or Sunday, but they couldn't be open both days on the weekends. And definitely no selling alcohol on Sundays. A lot of stores still don't sell alcohol. Some of them do, but a lot of them don't. You have to go to like a special store just for alcohol. Um, no drinking while standing in lift fours. L-E-F-O-R-S, -L LaForce, Texas, it is illegal to take more than three sips or swallows of a beer while standing up. It is not completely clear why this became a law. I mean, it's not three like whole beers, but three swallows of a beer. <laughs> um, eating your neighbor's garbage without permission is against the law. It can land you in jail for trespassing and property theft. So don't go eat in your neighbor's garbage. 
No cheese on Sunday. It's illegal in some cities in Texas to sell Limburger cheese on Sundays. Just Limburger. None of the rest of them. Just Limburger. Of course, Limburger is pretty stinky. That may have something to do with it. I don't know. Oh, I've got some of that in my eye. Um, let's see. This thing covers my eyes and I'm having trouble reading. <laughs> um, do not milk someone else's cow. In Texas, it's illegal to milk another person's cow. The Texas Penal Code states that doing so results in a fine of no more than $10. The current Texas law makes the act of a theft for person, of personal property. Our, our cow's all by herself, so even though she's a girl, she's not going to, you know, get milk because she won't have a baby, so don't have to worry about anybody stealing her milk. <laughs> don't shoot the buffalo from the second story of a hotel. What? <laughs> okay, let's see what this is. Um, it is still against the law to shoot a buffalo from the second floor of a hotel. This law may not have been so strange when buffalo were plentiful however there aren't many buffaloes around today that roam the streets of texas <laughs> maybe it was um environmental you know saving the species or whatever <laughs> i don't know or they just didn't want a dead buffalo in the middle of the road one of the two uh, 24 hour notice. Those planning to commit a crime in Texas are required by law to provide their victims with 24 hours written or verbal notice. This law was put on the books in an effort to reduce crime. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I'm going to come rob your house tomorrow. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Uh, number 10, flirting. Flirting with the eyes or hands is illegal in San Antonio, Texas. This law is enforceable for both men and women. Oh, San Antonio is a lovely city, but don't go down there and flirt. Uh, windshield wipers, but no windshield. While you don't legally need a windshield to drive a car in Texas, it is illegal to drive without windshield wipers. What? <laughs> funny when two trains meet at a crossing both need to, to fully stop and neither train can move until the other has left the crossing no wait so they can never move so if two trains meet like say like this they both have to stop but neither can move till one moves no, <laughs> that doesn't work. I don't know what they were thinking, but that does not work. In Galveston, you can be fined $500 for sitting on the sidewalk. Galveston's a real tourist town, so I can kind of see that because you'd be in the way of people walking because it's often really crowded in Galveston during the, especially in the spring and the fall. It gets pretty hot in the summer, but... <laughs> Huh. A lot of people I know have houses down there and they go down there for, you know, just to just to relax and chill down in Galveston or near Galveston. We one time went years ago. I mean, my daughter-in-law was pregnant with my grandson, who's almost 16. So that's a long time ago. But we got a house with my two sons, their wives and their between them. They had three daughters at the time. And they were all little itty bitties that girls were. And we got a house right on the beach. It was across the bay from Galveston, but it was right on the beach and, you know, it had a kitchen and bedrooms and stuff so you could, like, make your own food, not have to eat out all the time. And we were able to go because the kids were little. We were able to go in the fall when kids were, everybody was back in school, so it wasn't crowded. It was so fun. I would love to do something like that again before the kids are all grown and they're already mostly grown and gone, but really gone, you know, like jobs in other parts of the country or whatever. <laughs> That'd be great to do that again. That'd be so fun, but everybody's so busy all the time. I don't think I'll be able to pull it off. <laughs> um, no showing socks. In Denison and Bristol, Texas, it is illegal to show your stockings. Like 
nylons, they mean, I think. The penalty is for up to a year in jail. I mean, women weren't supposed to even show their ankles back in the day. That was like, you were a tramp if somebody saw your ankles. <laughs> no feather dusting in public. This is the last one. It is against the law to use a feather duster to dust any Texas public building. It is unclear whether it's the feather duster or the act of dusting that's illegal. The vast majority of these laws would be laughed at today, but technically any one of them could land you in jail or fined. I don't think they're. I don't think the police have time to uh, arrest you down in San Antonio for flirting <laughs> or whatever. I mean, five hundred dollar fine for sitting on the sidewalk in Galveston. That seems a little excessive. Most of those fines were like five and ten dollars, so you can tell how far back they went on the books, because that might have been a lot of money back in those days. So I don't know if you watched it yet, but Alex and Courtney and Sandra and I did a uh, spring makeup collab. So if you haven't seen that, go watch it. We all put on springy looking makeup. And coming up later this week is finally on the 15th is our big, I think we're up to 14 of us now. It's a multi, multi channel. We're all going to do a giveaway. But you have to be subscribed to everybody's channels to uh, and watch everybody's videos to, um, in, you know, enter in. But you can enter in all 14 um, giveaways. And they're all pretty good stuff. I'm getting ready to film mine, and I've got this big old bag of goodies. So I'm getting ready to film that myself. So I'm, we're all going to put them up on the 15th. And then the deadline for, um, we're giving you two weeks because there's so many of us to, um, you know, watch all the videos and Get in any get in on any of the giveaways that you want. You can do one or two or all fourteen, however many giveaways you want to get in on. But you have to any giveaway you do, you have to be subscribed to all of us. It's just a way for us to try and build up our um, subscribers, meet some new friends. Well, I don't know how long you're supposed to keep this on for. It's been thirteen minutes and I'm kind of done. Let's see what does it say? 10 to 15, so I'm right in the middle, so good time to take it off. Ooh. I mean, it's really moist. I mean, I could rub it all over my whole body. <laughs> rub it on my arms and rub it on my legs, and I'd still have some left. I'm gonna rub some of it off, is what I'm gonna do. So if you haven't ever watched my channel before, welcome. Or if you watched it and not subscribed, please subscribe. I do unboxings. I do obviously Mask Mondays. I do a few cooking videos here and there. I'll do a short with some of our critters. We live out in the country, so we've got cows and donkeys and dogs and <laughs> chickens and ducks and all that stuff. So every once in a while, I'll do a little short clip of critters. Um, I do a crafting video once once in a while, not very often, but once in a great while I'll throw a crafting video on there. Same with the cooking videos. I'm mostly an unboxing channel, but throw some other things on there. Um, on Fridays, I do a, um, I kind of alternate between Fun Fact Friday, kind of like this was sort of Fun Facts, but uh, Fun Fact Friday and this Friday I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to draw for a giveaway. I had a little mini giveaway, but it's a secret one, so you have to find it if you want to enter it. <laughs> it's hidden in one of my videos, and I'm going to draw for it on this coming Friday. Um, and this, this, I'm going to do some... Um, I, I usually do the Fun Facts one week, and the other week I do... Fabula, my fabulous friends Friday and I'll a shout out to three three of my great channels that I watch so be watching for that see who see who I shout out it might be you and hopefully it'll send some traffic your way 
Um, you like my little headbandy thing? I think it's supposed to also be a, um, I got it in one of my boxes. I think it's also supposed to be a, you can wear it as a mask when you go out in public. And I'll wear it as a mask and then when you're done, pull it back up on your head. <laughs> I mainly wore it to keep my hair out of my face while I put the mask on. Oh, my skin feels really nice. So whatever this was, I liked it. Whoever I got it from, however I got it, it's a nice mask. <laughs> I have like a big old pile of masks here. Let's see. Oh, that one I can't get at. It's like I have another one that I can't reach, but I got, I've got some I haven't tried. I've got a sock one that I haven't tried. I peel off one I'm afraid of. One that I think looks like a bear when you put it on. A cucumber one's always nice. Then I have these gloves to moisturize your hands. So that's nice too. So I have a little pile of masks here just waiting for me to get around to using them. Plus some other masks, these kind. There's another one. This one's a peel off one too. Pure lease watermelon peel off mask. I have them sitting here and I always swear I'm gonna use them but I'm always afraid. <laughs> So anyway, if you enjoy unboxing videos and Mass Mondays and chit chat and all that kind of stuff, please subscribe and hit the little subscribe button and hit the little bell and you'll be notified whenever I have videos up and I hope you do. I'd love to have you. And those who are my longtime subscribers, I love you all and thanks for coming and we'll see you sometime this week. I got boxes coming. Not sure what's going to get here when, but when they get here, I'll show you.